My name is Bernard Ashwanden. At Publishing Smarter, one of the things we do is put together videos like this one in order to help people learn how to use their software tools better. One of the best features in the software is its use of templates. A template has layout and format rules and may even have sample text to guide you through its use. The new dialog provides access to different types of templates, including both the standard ones and the structured ones. In this demo, we only use the standard. After clicking Explore Standard Templates, the Standard Templates dialog appears. The templates are grouped, and you can click on a specific template in order to see a preview of it. The dialog updates and shows the name of the template as well as some of its features. Many different templates for different purposes exist. Some templates with relatively complex design, graphics, multiple column layouts, and more are available. If a given template seems to meet your needs, you can click Show Sample in order to see a more detailed version of it. A sample document opens and it can contain content including text, tables, images, and more, and the best way to see what's in here is to scroll through it. Now I'll close the sample document and explore some other templates. Adobe provides an entire collection of default templates. The path shown here is similar for most versions of FrameMaker. Most templates are grouped into folders based on the general function of the files within them. These, for example, are related to books. There are many template types to choose from. Once you're inside a folder and a specific document exists that you want to use as a basis for a new document, double-click the template. Since this is an actual document and not just a sample, there's a lot less default text that's inserted. Again, I'll close the file. Publishing Smarter puts its templates into the same default installation folder as the other templates included with Frame, but depending on your company preferences, these could be stored just about anywhere. We use a range of templates to meet different needs. This template is pre-populated with author information. We have a lot of different templates. These exist for the use of things like covers, chapters, the index, the table of contents, or in the case of the next sample, in order to create a new chapter. Everything that you see inside a template is based on the settings that were defined by the template developer.